Hey folks, it's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the bunker system. This is a video you're watching now before you're watching. Ooh, that was good. Black cherry lemonade. My ears are all clogged up. So you're watching this video before you watch the video that I made before this video. So when I mention in the video that I'm going to post, because it's longer, I'm posting this one, which is only records today, I went, I went to vote. I, there, I got my sticker. I voted, went to vote, and uh, that's it. Okay, so now on with the records. But while I was doing that, I thought I'd just go to the little thrift shop that's pretty close to the house, and I found some fun stuff there. Check out this cover. Local right record, Reverend Merrill Ted Braun Sr., there's Ted, there's his family on the back, Wright Records, yay, that's fun. Some, some new wave or punk group called from where? England, England called the Subhumans. The Subhumans, EP, LP, apparently one side is the EP and one side is the LP. Fun to find at a thrift. This is a, a, just a black blank with uh, the word null airbrushed on the cover. If I'm not mistaken, it's airbrushed and not printed. I think it's a techno pop, you know, one of the millions of those records that are just floating around out there that it can't get rid of. That'll probably be collectible one day. Uh, but I picked it up because it could be fun. Now this is a great cover. Teenagers in Love, the twins, Jim and John. Jim and John, the twins, teenagers in love. 21 Charles Street, Hicksville, Long Island. They put their address, the back of the cover. Can you see it? 1958. I went on too long about that record. It's probably horrible. Another private press on Queen City Records. Helen and Billy Scott, the songs you requested. And there's a nice photograph on the back of Helen and Billy. Cool, very cool. Uh, budget bluegrass on Diplomat. That's odd. Whoever Hilo Brown is, he s sings bluegrass with a five-string banjo. Had to pick that up. That seemed interesting. Another punk or a new wave record from Amsterdam, Holland, on Virus 52 or something records. It's uh, a double. I think there's two bands on it. I have, I have no idea, but it was there. I picked it up. And also, odd, is, is a, a, an import German. Where's it from? Frankfurt. Western Germany. Um, the Third Reich marches. I picked it up. I've got this record, but it's fabulous. I picked up another copy that's very clean. Fun record, fun photograph. I believe I've got this record too, but it's a clean pressing. So I picked it up, fun cover. I don't have this one. This is a demonstration record from Time, Series 2000, but nowhere on this record that I, can, that I was able to quickly find is the name of Whoever, concert percussion for orchestra. No, I don't know who, who the, who the artist is, or artists. Very strange. This is a lovely cover. George Shearing and Nancy Wilson. Fabulous, fabulous '60s cover. No, 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 date on that. Okay, and finally. This was fun to find. It's not super rare, but it's Billy, a Billy Muir album. You know Supersonic Guitars? He made two really fabulous guitar albums. And apparently, he's 90 years old and he's still playing. He has a one-page website. This looks like an earlier album of his, right? There's Billy. This photograph's on his website. But it's, it's not. It fall, it's 1961. It falls in between the stuff he was doing for RCA, apparently. His budget label, Strand, he made two records, including a record titled Hawaiian Percussion, which is probably great, too, which is also on Strand. So um, I read that this is like, pretty fabulous, so I'm gonna, definitely going to play something 
from this record and it's got a rock. So God bless you, Billy. You stop by my blog, say hi. Ooh, this stuff's good.